What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Celeste Blind. In the last episode, oh man, in the last episode, I do first of all want to say thank you guys so much for your support on the last couple episodes. These, well, the, this chapter as a whole has been very long, it's been very cool, um, very challenging, and I appreciate your guys' kind words, your optimism, your, your support, really, in maintaining my mentality of, you know, I, I can do this, this is something I can get through, I'm doing well, etc. Because with such a challenging, long chapter, it's very easy to um, get down on yourself. And I appreciate you guys acknowledging that and then doing what you can to counteract that. And yeah, I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. I know many of you uh, had been looking forward to that reveal, right? That, that Crystal Heart was fake. And thank you guys so much for not spoiling that. It was really impactful when it happened to me because I didn't know it was coming. So thank you for that. And yeah, I... I've waited a few days, uh, I've been playing a couple other games, well, arguably too much, uh, since the last episode recorded, so I may be, again, as always, a little bit rusty, but I, um, I think we've got our wave dash and all that stuff back in our itinerary, so, yeah, let's, um, inventory was probably the better word there, let's tackle this room, we got all the elements ahead. So these are the things we can bounce off of. I wonder if we can wave dash off of them. I'm gonna guess no at the moment, but regardless, we can jump off of it, dash, dash up, and then this part is going to be kind of difficult, because what I'm gonna have to do is bounce off of the ones on the right, dash to the left through the spike-centered areas, or the center spiked areas, bounce off of those to get that key, and then bounce off one of the bottom row ones, dash up to bounce on, on, on top of one of the top ones, and then regain my dash and eventually make my way to the right, probably jump dash, jump dash, etc. And then dash my way into this little pentagon here so that I can get that key card, bounce up again, and then invade these pentagons on both sides, which are a little bit more difficult um, because they're moving a little more quickly than this one, as you can see. And then lastly, this fire one. The real question is, how are these platforms gonna come together? because I'm gonna be able to bounce off of one of these, you know, cold guys and get that key, but but I won't really know how to get that. Oh, also, what was it? Yeah, somebody mentioned, I forgot, I apologize, I forgot your name, um, but someone very helpfully mentioned that you can remove the, the pause screen so that you can just look at a still screen, which is really helpful, so thank you for that. And with that, I think, I think we can finally get going. Um, oh, I, I guess actually, I apologize in advance for my dog, uh, with everyone home, all the noise going on, all the people walking outside, she tends to bark a lot more frequently than usual, and it's very annoying for me when I'm not recording, but it definitely is when I am recording, and I hope you guys understand and are patient with me as well. Okay, now that we have gotten through all of the, uh, the formalities, let's get going, right? Hey, all things considered, I think that was a pretty good first attempt. <laughs> okay. Up. Right. Ah, dang. Should have known. But yeah, I've um I've really enjoyed Celeste so far. And it's crazy because there's so many games right now. Um, luckily, I'm at a point in my life where things have calmed down a little bit. Things were really chaotic. For those of you that I've talked to um, about it over on Discord or whatever it may be, um, it's been a very stressful time recently. And um, luckily, I've been able to kind of take the back seat a little bit and enjoy some things I've been wanting to for quite some time. And a couple of those things you'll actually see on the channel soon enough, so you can look forward to that, <laughs> as always. But, yeah. Um, and part of it is also I've been able to game with my, my brothers, my family members, who I really enjoy getting to do that with. Okay. Things are getting a little bit complex again. <laughs> I was going to say, time to, time to hunker down and focus can necessarily be uh, commentating part of the struggle of, you know, doing a let's play of a game like this or Super Meat Boy is wanting to be entertaining, obviously, um, wanting to add some sort of commentary, 
granted, it's not like you're gonna be, you know, offering the most insightful of commentary when playing a game like Celeste or Super Meat Boy or whatever it is. But something to add personality, right? Your thoughts, your reactions. Because a lot of people, you know, watch for that. And a lot of people like to see this, the struggle associated with these games. Oh, man. Or some like to live vicariously. Or some just maybe watched another one of my Let's Plays and liked this game too and wanted to see my personal experience with it. Who knows? Either way. I'm happy those of you that are watching, are watching. That's something I've been meaning to talk about at some point, is why I have a YouTube channel. What are like my personal goals for YouTube? Like why is it something I spend so much time doing? Okay, did I do it? Did I do it? I did it! Ah. Whew. Made it past that room, and really only spent a few minutes on it, luckily. Alright, let's... Progress. All the way to the right. All the way to the right. Wow, what a long room. And part of what adds to it is the fact that this wind is really blowing to the left. So we got a lot of resistance to moving across this entire room. Alright, so we're probably gonna have to wave dash here. Probably wave dash again. Probably wave dash again. Um... Bounce into that, dash up, dash up again, bounce off the spring to the right. Grab the key. Fall, dash to the left again, bounce up, dash right through the newly unlocked path, fall down. Hopefully this acts as a checkpoint, that would be really nice. Um, usually when they add these viewers, the binoculars or whatever, um, that means they have a checkpoint, at least from previous levels. So I'm hoping that is the case. It may be, it may not be. But then we're going to have to wave dash off of here, dash up there to bounce. Hmm. I get the impression the wind may change directions here, based on just how this level design is, because otherwise I don't see it happening. Regardless, oh man, I was like, wait, is my controller broken as I tried to move to the right? And this is really, really strong wind. Yeah, I got a, I got a wave dash. I'm sure I could do that otherwise, but, oops. That was some really effective wave dashing. Here's where that, uh, that triple... wave dash that I wasn't able to do before is coming to haunt me. That was a little bit better. I was told that I should focus more on the ti timing rather than the uh, the jump height because the game is a little bit more lenient in that regard. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm actually getting a little bit too much distance it seems now. Oh man. We can make it back. I was like, maybe I can salvage this. Oh wait, the platform doesn't come back though. Yeah, that's a that's a no go for me. It is also, as much as I, you know, don't want other people to be struggling with the game itself. It was somewhat reassuring to hear. Ooh, I see what I'm gonna have to do. Um, that other people also struggled with the wave dash and the various parts of this level. And it was also nice to hear <laughs> that despite my uh, my negativity, some of you guys do actually like the, the Golden Feathers. One of you mentioned actually using the analog stick for those components and uh, mentioned that it was probably a little bit more intuitive that way. That's probably, I can definitely see why that would be the case. Wow. Oh, I see. I was gonna say. I don't think I can make it over there if I go down there, but... Hmm... Man, this, this beginning part 
is uh, proving to be a lot more difficult than I expected. Maybe it's as difficult as the game expected, though, given that a checkpoint really comes, like, right after it. Oh, we were so close! Darn, too much. Oh! Hmm. I just realized this this platform is going to fall. So the real question is, where does that block go after I get the key? Because that's where I'm going to need to go to. Interesting. Because... How else am I going to get up there? It makes me think that... Oh. I'm silly. Obviously, I need to not use the spring. Obviously. Oh, man. I gotta go upright. Oh, and I did it again! Why did I just... It's muscle memory at this point. Come on! Whew. I knew it. Just looking at the level design, I can tell you. Okay, so looking ahead again. We're probably going to want to wave dash again, and then bounce off of there, and then dash upright over this, and then fall to the left. Bounce right, and then we're going to have to dash upright, and then just barely fade to the left to get there. Etc. This is going to be a real toughie. So what are we going to have to do here? This is something we're going to have to plan out. So we bounce to the right, we dash up here, we're going to have to wall cling on the right side of this and then kind of repeat that process. Unless, we'll see based on how strong the wind is, whether or not I'm able to just go from the left side of one to the other. Honestly, given how strong the wind is, I think that might be the intention. So, we'll see. Oh my goodness! I <laughs> was not ready for the wind to just obliterate me there. Oh man, so you gotta be really on point with when you dash up to hit that spring. Okay, oh. Because there's really very little leeway for for fading back. <laughs> you really can't make up a lot of ground in that regard. Oh man. At the very least. I feel like I'm getting these wave dashes in the beginning more consistently. <laughs> he says as he now gets the wave dashes but can't get beyond that first spring that he was doing so consistently before. Oh man. Yeah, that is tough. Because you have to... You gotta bounce, obviously, but... Part of what makes it so difficult, though is that you bounce and you obviously gain a lot of rightward momentum but then you have to give up that momentum in order to not fling into the spikes but then you need to regain that momentum in order to get past the column so you can dash up onto that third spring I think that's what makes that segment particularly tough and by the time you do, right, you're probably uh, too late which also makes me think you have to, rather than, you know, fade to the right and then dash up, you need to dash up right over there. Otherwise, I just don't think it's... I'm, I'm sure somebody could do it with enough, you know, with enough skill, but I don't think that's maybe the intended route. Or, like, the primary means of doing it. Whoa, that was weird. Oh! <laughs> the irony of saying that you don't think that's like the intended route and then you go ahead and do it that way. Mm. 
Yeah, it's all about timing when you change that momentum, I think. And again, I still don't really know how long this level is, but wow, is it, uh... Oh, and you have to really quickly dash to the left there. But we got that. So we're, we are slowly but surely moving further along. Yeah, I still don't know how long this chapter is going to be, so we'll see. Um, forgive, forgive me if I end up assuming it's going to go on a lot longer than I expect, because that's how it has been, and end up, you know, cutting this episode, like, a couple rooms before the final room or something like that. It's also interesting, I've been thinking a lot about post-game content and what I want to do in that regard. Whether or not I want to go for the golden strawberries, etc. And up until this point, I mean, you guys have heard me talk about it, right? Oh, oh I was so close to that. Um, you guys have heard me talk about it in that not really leaning towards doing them because the the levels themselves will be the same and I'd be going through the same areas. More so just looking to do it deathless. And I don't know if that's 100% enjoyable for me. And so that might not be something that happens. However, something I'm realizing now is that there's so much post-game value given how much you learn throughout the entirety of the game. Right, so there might be really valuable to go back to earlier levels and see, oh, I could wave dash here and just completely get past this room or um, you know, this other advanced technique. If I wall bounce here, completely obliterates <laughs> any challenge in this uh, chapter, right? And so I, I can see that there's probably a lot of value in that. The question is, do I want to go ahead and do that? Because that's not necessary for the golden strawberries. I know there's one that's like Dashless um, Chapter 1 that might require some advanced technique. And I read somewhere briefly about like Moonberries. I don't really know what those are. But but nevertheless, I guess I'm saying I understand that there's probably replay value in bringing what you learn in the latter half of the game to the earlier levels. Or even really, you know, just like the B-sides and the C-sides to the main game. Okay, come on. Nice, we did it. So, I'm considering it. That said, I'm probably still leaning towards not doing a lot of post-game content. I don't, I'm not sure how interested you guys are in the, the Pico 8. Probably not too interested. <laughs> um, but partially just because I don't I, I don't want to get frustrated with the game. That's, you know, overstaying its welcome. Uh, you know, it's, what is it? You die the hero or live yourself, see to become the villain. I don't want to dislike the game eventually because of, you know, redoing the same stuff over and over or getting frustrated with challenges I'm not finding super fun. I think anybody can understand um, that perspective. So we'll, we'll see, and I, I'm feeling ready to move on to a different game at this point, admittedly, as much as I am enjoying it. But anyways, we have ourselves a new room which presents a new challenge. As we take a look, we're going to have to jump out of this, dash to the right to grab onto this springboard, springboard conveyor belt, fly up, regain our dash. Now interestingly enough, I'm pretty sure these segments on the right are stuff that we can't we can't cling on to those. Why do I remember that being the case? It might not be, and I'm sure we'll find out in a moment, but Hmm. Maybe the intent is that you you go on the conveyor belt, you like fly up and then you wall bounce off of the right side of it after you get the key. Yeah, you like dash up and then wall bounce to the next one. Regain your dash, fall down, dash up, wall bounce, over, regain your double dash, and then, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's gotta be the case, but you fall down here, you dash up, you wall bounce, you kind of grab onto that, or you dash there. That's the last key card, so then, yeah, that'll move. So then you dash up, and then you wall bounce again, grab onto that, you get that key, it starts taking you to the right, and eventually, um, we'll give you what you need to get to the exit. I think that's what we gotta do here. Okay. Oops. I should, I should test first. Yeah, I can't grab onto that. Okay, just wanted to confirm that before I, you know, went about this the wrong way or something. 
And I absolutely need to get that when I go up there, so. Good to know. Oh, wait, no! I'm not supposed to dash to the wall, I'm supposed to dash off the wall. Oops, I guess I missed my wall bounce. Oh man. Oh, and what I was um, partially mentioning earlier is that given that some of the strawberries don't necessitate the, the extra challenge of using a lot of the advanced tech and everything, um, I can see how something like speedrunning this game is really appealing. Because the platforming is just so tight. And using all this advanced technology would be, you know, all these advanced techniques um, would be super fun. I mean, I'm not really one to speedrun games in general. The, the closest I ever came was trying to, oh, I almost did it there, was trying to speedrun Mega Man 2 and Luigi's Mansion way back in the day. But... But I can totally see how fun that would be. Okay, so I need to be ready. I, I'm like muscle memory programmed to the cling there. And I need to be ready to just wall jump again. Or wall bounce again. Like that. Oh, that moved fast. <laughs> that moved really fast. But I'm glad that we were able to uh, handle it. Um... There's something I'm missing. Do I need to go through there? That's the impression I'm getting. Wow. Pretty cool though. Okay, what do we have here? My favorite feathers. <laughs> okay, let's um, let's plan out how we're gonna do this. So first off is these bounce blocks thing here. So we we gotta hit this on the right side, get it to obliterate these blocks, and continue to go that way. Hmm. It's gonna be very difficult to get that key, I think, without... Well, no, actually, that'll be high enough that I should be able to get up to that double dash. After I get the key, though, I'm just gonna have to double dash to here. Feather up. Oh, man, I can already... Those blocks there look breakable, meaning I'm probably gonna have to. Yeah. Oof. This is gonna be a tough room, guys. So... So I guess just in terms of how my movement is going to progress, right? I'm going to need to get the double dash there and the key. Um, I'm going to have to bring this block up anyways, right? It's going to go to the right, it's going to break those, and then move to the right, and I'm going to have to bring it up a bit, and then to the right again. Because I'm going to need it to break these blocks. After I get the key there, I can definitely... Um, get the feathers, go up to that feather, come down here, you know, get my dash, and then, and then what? You know, those are going to move through there, it's probably going to hit that. I don't know how I'm going to work that. But either way, I definitely need the block, right, to go to the right through these er this area, and I also need to be clinging to it or something like that, right? So that I can get this double dash and then I have to break it again, and then it'll come over, and then with the double dash intact, I'm probably gonna need to jump off of it and, and go up to get off there. I'm gonna have to see how this one feels, just to kind of get an idea of, you know, how can I actually work? I think these blocks that I'm standing on right now tend to be um, something difficult for me to predict, like how they're going to move. So, yeah, I just want to see again, you know. Oops.
Darn. I think I'm gonna have to, as I exit the feather mode there, I have to dash up to bring the block down. Yeah, I think so. That's gonna be tough. <laughs> That's gonna be really tough, guys. I wonder, just out of curiosity, if I time this right. Okay, that's a lot more manageable that way. Um, I mean, at this point, the, the the run is over. Come on. Let's see. Okay, that worked. So I need to move a little bit more quickly there. But it's nice to know that I can just kind of duck and uh, place myself appropriately and be okay. Darn. But yeah, then I need to get there really quickly so that so that I can just progress. Um, okay. I mean, we'll see what we can do. It's going to be it's going to be tough. <laughs> Rushing me with golden feathers. That is not a recipe for success. Ah, oh, stood up too early. But yeah, I think that's why they give you the double dash, is so that you don't need to jump back on after you do that, and you can just kind of go across right away. Darn, almost. Getting closer. As I always say, progress. And for now, we will take that. Yeah, I thought that was going to be too low. Let's reset the room, it does. Lovely. You can save, you know, on one death because it'll matter a lot, really. So how do I want to plan that there? You guys saw, right? This is so nice. <laughs> um, you guys saw that as I came out, it was still on its way to the left. It would be difficult to get on top of that in dash, obviously, so I either really need to be hitting it down or to the right. But if I hit it down, I fell too quickly and didn't get my dash back. So I think I need to need to dash out of it while the block is further to the right so that I can dash up, hit it, and then fall onto that crystal there. And then use that crystal to dash on top of the block. Um, and then let it start to slowly move towards the top of the screen again, and then dash hit it from the right, so that it hits all those blocks that we saw before. I think that's gonna be our next step. So, well, we'll give it a go. I can potentially buy myself a little bit of time. Come on. Oh man, almost. I think, so I need to get it to the right of that little block on the on the ground there, I think. But yeah, I can buy myself a little bit of time, a little bit more time, by having this as far to the left as possible before I like jump up. Um, or before I dash, why did I do that? <laughs> before I dash down on it. Something like this. Give myself just a little bit more time. I don't think I'll ever be able to... Let's see, I I think even when this moves all the way to the right, it's still not going to be... No, it will be. I'm just not... I don't think there's any way I can reasonably be fast enough to get there in time. Oops. But we'll try. We'll try to go faster. That's all we can do right now. Yeah, like trying to get, you know, trying to get to the block even earlier is gonna be really difficult. Oh, 
That was so close, guys. That was so close. I almost improvised, but I missed the block there. Oof, man. But I guess that's that's the way to do it. Aw. Oh, that was not the way to do it. <laughs> Speaking of ways to do it, um, it's also been... Oh, I need to stop commentating sometimes and just focus. But it's been interesting to hear some of you offer some of your solutions to different puzzles in this game. Saying like, oh, I actually did it, you know, by doing this. It's been really fun to see like, oh, I didn't even think to, you know, be able to do that at that point. Oh man, too much. As I'd imagine, you know, part of puzzle platformers is just seeing what what comes to you at the moment, right? What crosses your mind is something feasible. Oh, I had way too much momentum there. I totally underestimated how much momentum I would have. But we are close. Okay. We did it! Yes! Whew. I thought it was going to be stuck on that one for a very, very long time. Alright, now we've got our golden feathers and some wind. We don't have the ability to preview what's ahead. Interesting. So, the, the feather itself is affected by the wind. So I'm able to move at normal speeds when moving up and down, but not when moving left to the right, obviously. Which obviously complicates things a little bit. Luckily, this, uh, this first part actually seems relatively routine. With regards to if I time it correctly each time, I just kind of hold to the right and then go straight down once I'm, you know, past that star. But I don't need to be too evasive with my maneuvers there. It's more so getting around that bend there. Okay. Was I too early? I was. You like kind of need to compensate a little bit for how the wind is going to push you when you start to move in that in the vertical directions. And I did not do it very effectively there. You know, this one this one is you for you commenter who I can't remember the name of, unfortunately, but I'm going to go analog stick. And oh my goodness, it is working wonders. That was a game changer. <laughs> that was a game changer. Do you guys see how much more intuitively I was able to control it there? Like, look at this. It's like I'm not even the same person. That was crazy. Now the tough part is going to be going back to the D-pad after I'm done with the, the feather segment. And D-pad... D-pad, oh no! <laughs> That transition was tough. I should just try to pause, honestly. Um, that would probably be the smart thing to do. I think that'll be what I'll do, is just pause when I know I'm getting close to the end of that. Okay, I do need to be a little bit more evasive there. You guys can just see how much more flexible the controls are like this. It's the same star that I told myself last time I need to be more flexible with. Ooh. 
little too flexible. <laughs> but yeah, I'll, I'll just try and pause when I get to the spring segment there so I can transition back to the D-pad. Okay, D-pad transition. So planning this out, right? I'm gonna need to fall, I can spring up off of this top spring and then you know dash up right and kind of fade into the springs on the right and then repeat the process on the right side there. So that's what I'll try and do. What? Oh, wow. I need to go dash, I need to dash like straight right there. I do not have the flexibility to go up and right after um, landing on the spring, on the side springs, that is. Okay. Well, this golden feather segment just became significantly more tolerable. And I also, I, I feel like I have some muscle memory slash like pattern stuck in my controls at the moment. Um, I'm gonna probably try and just be a little bit more flexible with uh, the patterns here. Okay, transition back to the D-pad. Okay, up. I'm gonna pause. <laughs> and we're transitioning back to the analog stick. Ooh. One of the purple tokens. Are we, are we at the end? Are we at the end? I didn't ask for your help. <laughs> I know, but come on, Madeline. Think this through. What's your end game here? Also, it's obviously difficult to convey on a YouTube video, but the rumble of the controller is very subtle, almost like a heartbeat at this point. All that matters is finding Granny. Then maybe I can bring her home. Even if the whole universe is against me. Aren't you worried about getting lost up here? Did everything just kind of look a little more desaturated just now? I'll figure it out. Look, Madeline. We're in space, <laughs> chasing a mysterious bird. And the universe is against us. We're going into the void. The, the platforms are breaking down into this greenish architecture. None of this is real. You're dreaming. She's gone. It's time to wake up now. This... This actually really hits home. Um, the other day I woke up really teary-eyed. Um, for those of you that don't know, my, my grandfather passed away uh, last week and it's still really tough to talk about, but I actually woke up the other day really teary-eyed um, because I had a really vivid dream that I was actually FaceTiming him, um, just like from my couch with my family. And and then all of a sudden, you know, like my, my mom mentioned how unfortunate it was that he had passed and it was like, I was, I'd been living in a dream where he was still alive and with us and, and reachable and, um, and it was just completely all shattered again. And it's crazy how a dream can, can do that. But regardless, sorry, none of that, or all that aside, I, I can relate to how Celeste is feeling wanting to cling on to the dream while it's still there. But it's time to wake up now. But if we wake up, we'll never see Granny again. I can't believe you want her to disappear forever. You're always so selfish. First of all, it's a bird. We don't know that it's her. And second of all... We need to take a step back here. No, you need to take a step back. I'm doing this. With or without you. I'm done letting you hold me back. Granny needs me. Okay. Good luck. Interesting. Alright, well, we'll keep on moving. Interesting, it's these blocks, the... I forget what they're called, are they Puyo Puyo blocks? No, Puko blocks? I forget. But, well, we'll see what's going on here. The music is so calming. The pace of this level seems so... chill? For now? 
I'd imagine the platforming is about to get really intense. Oh, I see. <laughs> I should not have died there. But you know what? That's okay. Are things about to get, you know, that much more intense? Oh, it seems like it. That was the, you know, the first room where they introduced the mechanic, you know, reacquaint you to it and then, um, you know, go all out with it. So, part of what they show up there is, you know, the order, right? So it goes yellow, green, blue, pink, or blue, pink, yellow, green. Which is fitting, um, given how the platforms are set up here. So we're gonna need to go from the blue, Ooh, the question is, how are we going to want to get from the pink to the yellow with only one dash? I think the question is going to be, or the answer is going to be wave dashing off of the blue one. I think. Can I jump over there and make it? I probably can't in time. Green. Okay. Ah. Oh. Timed poorly. Okay. So I need to wave dash and then cling onto, um, on the pink one so that I can dash up to... Ooh, that's gonna be kind of tough. Or I could try wall bouncing? No, I gotta wall bounce. Oh, I better have to wall bounce off the yellow one, actually. Darn. Yeah, that's totally what I need to do. And then there's the green and, and all that jazz. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> you gotta be really quick to get this first wave dash in. And then to get, you know, high enough. Why did I, why did I do that? Was not quick enough. I love how calming the music is, though. Oh, man. Now I'm having a difficult time with... Whoa. That timing was weird. Did that seem off for anyone else? Like that again! There's something odd about the cycles. Sometimes they don't seem to be what you'd expect. Like that time, it was so delayed! too it seemed a little bit stuck am I just like not close enough it seems like it ooh that was that was a pretty good one And yeah, things seem so much darker. <laughs> Is my computer plugged in? That seems to be something I've uh, forgotten about a couple times. A little bit more like, like washed out or gray, you know? Darn, I didn't get my dash back. Why did I, why did I try to wave dash off of the, uh, the starting platform? That time I tried to get a little bit too close, it seems. That was a good one though. I was able to cling onto the pink platform towards the top, so I had a little bit more time and I'd imagine um, a little bit more leeway with doing my wall bounce higher up off of the yellow platform, thus giving me a little bit more height. Interesting. So I'm fairly confident I need to 
So I land on the green one, jump on the blue one, and I think I bounce up once and then fall back and bounce on it a second time. But when I bounce on it a second time, I actually need to go to the right because that blue block, well, the blue blocks will be dis will have disappeared by then. I dash up, I get my double dash, fall, dash right, up, and then fall again. Or I get a double dash, right? Hmm. Yeah, I get the double dash so I can dash right and then up and then right onto the green one, jump up onto the blue one, get the spring springboard, and then dash up immediately. We'll give it a go. Yeah, I forget who it was, um, somebody else mentioned that the later in the wall cling you wait, the better of a chance you actually have of, um, you know, going up higher. It's not better of a chance, it's, it's a mechanic, it's not a probability. <laughs> it's the longer you wait, generally, the more um, height you get. Interestingly enough, so we were talking about how to navigate the blue spike area there and it seemed like even after that second dash or that second bounce I was still going to have too much going on um, or there was it was still gonna be there for too long so I'm not a hundred percent sure whoa that was weird Obviously gonna have to come up with something though. Because I can't stall forever, right? But I definitely need to. Maybe it's like I dash down back into the uh, spring one more time so that I can kind of like get that second bounce in. Um, yeah, so it's like I bounce on it once, fly up, and then dash back down to it a second time so that I'm further I'm in the air for longer while it's out or whatever something like that I don't know okay I gotta focus on getting this first part back down again rather than just thinking about the the latter half of the level because I haven't even made it to the latter half in some time It does kind of bug me that the, the starting time, this cycle at the beginning, is always like a little bit off. It's never 100% the same. Because like usually that's one of the things you can rely on when it comes to like patterns and, um, and all that, is that the cycle will be the same each time you respawn. That way you can time things appropriately. Oh, I got it, but I didn't think I did. I'm admittedly also not a huge fan of this kind of like washed out look, but I mean I could be going crazy. No, Madeline's hair is definitely not as brown and saturated as it usually is. I'm not going crazy. There, It is a little bit washed out. <laughs> oh man, and I'll probably give this, you know, a, a few more tries, but I think it's been a decently long episode as is actually so I can't afford to I can't afford to be you know have another two hour long recording session that I have to split up in editing afterwards <laughs> I can't even remember the last time I had to do that oh man that never gave me difficulty before it was always that was always the easy part right
think I waited a little bit too long there. Hmm. Really? I didn't... Wait patiently, we will, <laughs> so that we can just waste the opportunity. Lovely, lovely. <laughs> yeah, it's not, uh, not, now, now I'm having a tough time even just getting to the, the pink block. Like, what's going on there? Yeah, for some reason, like, the, the the arc on me curving back to get it is proving to be way more difficult. I used to be able to... Hmm. I used to be able to get it a lot more reliably. Like, this was not the difficult part of the level. And there I got it, but I didn't have my dash. What's up with that? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> then I get it, and I totally screw up the, the wall bounce there. I mean, these aren't like easy techniques by any means, right? But But at the same time, it is stuff that I feel I've gotten familiar with, and somewhat comfortable with, and I just want to try the things that are, you know, like the, the more challenging things I'm unfamiliar with, right? There's that spring with the, with the blue spikes and the double dash. That's the puzzle I want to figure out, right? I want to, I want to be able to get there to even attempt that. When I jumped up... So, like, part of what's difficult, right, is that when you're clinging to the right side of the pink whatever, if you just dash straight up, you're gonna, or if you just, you know, like, wall jump right off and then dash straight up, you're gonna get pineapple. You know, you're gonna get caught underneath the block. But you can't dash out too far because then you're, you know, too far away to actually do the wave bounce. But you obviously need to dash up. So part of it is trying to hit that balance right after, you know, while jumping off of the pink block. This is so odd. I did not anticipate this room to be as difficult as it as it is in terms of just how many deaths I'm racking up here. Right? Like even this beginning part. Just like this wave dash onto this pink platform. Why is it giving me so much difficulty? I feel like it shouldn't be. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Come on! I keep thinking I'm gonna drift further to the right and I don't and I end up on that stupid <laughs> spikes right above the green platform. Ah, oh, man. 
And, you know, I, I hate to end an episode on a room. <laughs> Of course, then I overcompensate. I hate to end an episode on a room that I haven't beaten yet, right? I, I like to get to a new room, a new challenge to look forward to, and then, you know, cut off the episode there. I don't like to have attempted a challenge for the entirety of, you know, a, a good 20 minutes or so, and then be like, well, I didn't actually do it, and I'm running out of time, so we're gonna have to call it there. But it's looking more and more like that might be the case. Either way. All right, so we're finally here. <laughs> we're finally here. We're clung on to the green block and the blue block is gonna go any moment. So I got it wall jump off of here and bounce off of that. Now, what I was saying before is if I bounce off of the spring once and then bounce off the spring again, the second time that I bounce off the spring, that blue block will still be there. So I'll bounce into, this, into the spikes. So I'm not 100% sure how I make sure I have enough upward momentum, right? Basically, I need to bounce off the spring and then between me reaching, or between me hitting the spring and getting to the height where the spikes are, in that interim, the block needs to change. And that's gotta be a really tight timing. And what I was saying before is I thought that that would just be naturally after the second time you bounce on the spring. So you bounce off the spring once, you fall back down, you bounce off the spring again. It's definitely after that, which makes me think maybe we have to add a little bit more time. And I'm trying to think what's a natural way to do that. I think we might wanna bounce off the spring, go to the left and dash up maybe, and then fall back down to the spring again and try that. I think that's a natural way that we could uh, do that. Don't you love when I just like take a good minute to talk about the, the strategy, you know, the, the plan, and then completely mess it up? Okay, so that's too much. <laughs> Unbelievable. Wait, I didn't... Okay. Back to square one, literally. <laughs> Yeah, at least we now know, you know, it's further. We, we gotta do something different. We know one of the ways that is not <laughs> the, the correct way to go about it. Okay, so again, what we tried was bounce, bounce, and we've also tried, or like bounce and regular fall back. We've also tried bounce, dash up, and then fall down, which was way too long. So it's gotta be something in between those two options. What I was thinking is we can maybe like jump onto the spring, immediately dash back down, and then go for the second bounce. That'll add a little bit of time onto it. I think that's what I wanna try. And that too was too much. That also was too much. It makes me think it's gotta be two bounces. It makes me think it's gotta be just two bounces, like normal. But that obviously didn't work the last time. I mean, I'll try it again to see if maybe my timing was a little bit off or something along that, along those lines, but. But I don't know. very least, I mean, we are consistently performing <laughs> hyper dashes, as I believe they're called. <laughs> I was going to say we're, we're at least, you know, performing the wave dashes decently consistently. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's still definitely too much. I think what I'm going to want to do is bounce off of it once, fall back towards it, and then immediately after that second one, dash back down to buy just a little bit of time. See if I can pull it off. Or we'll see if my muscle memory allows me. <laughs> That was it. That was it, guys. So we we bounce off of the spring once. We fall down. We bounce on the spring a second time. We immediately dash back down and then bounce off it again to the right. We fly up there. We dash up, get the double dash crystal. Fall down, dash right, up, fall, right, grab, and then probably dash up honestly if we're if we need to be quick about it and then uh springboard up and go but that's that's what it's got to be and wow this episode i've already been recording for way longer than i had planned given how the last episode went <sighs> but i'd hate to get so close to figuring it out and then have to you know redo some of that next time Oh, come on. <laughs> I just want to try what I figured out, or my new plans. You know? Oh, I don't have a dash? Oh, I don't have a dash! Oh, I thought I had to dash up there to be quick enough, and then I was like... Huh? Why can't I dash? Oh man, that could have been it. That could have been it, guys. Whew. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to end the episode. So, we've got more of these, um, you know, disappearing blocks. I think they're Puyo blocks. In uh, in the next episode, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you so much to Unnamed Commenter. I'm not remembering. I will be sure to go back and reply to your your comment again. I, I remember <laughs> I remember the comment itself because it's like five or six paragraphs long and it contains a lot of really useful information and context and you know interesting stories to hear. Thank you so much. I know you know who you are. Um, and thank you so much to those of you that sat with me through this episode and all of these episodes and who have listened to my random stories and whatever it may be. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. I hope you guys are enjoying chapter nine. I hope you guys are enjoying the struggle because it certainly is one. But until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete. <laughs>